Well, welcome, guys. Uh, we're glad that you're joining us tonight. And we really just want to spend some time praying together. You know, so much is going on. We're trying to figure out, you know, how do we, how do we get together? How do we pursue Jesus together? How do we encourage one another? And so we really just want to spend some time tonight praying together. And so many of you guys have sent in prayer requests, and you can keep sending in prayer requests. And tonight we've got a few friends and family together. And, uh, man, we want to we want to pray together, but we want to pray with you. So wherever you're at, in your home or at work or in your living room, wherever you're at, I'm going to ask you guys to join us tonight as we um, come together just to press into Jesus, but also just lift up, you know, everything that's going on. So one thing we've got to keep in mind, in spite of everything that's going on, Jesus is still the King of kings and Lord of lords, and he still can move. Like, he wants to move in our midst, and so we don't want to get, we don't want to, really just buy into everything that sounds horrible or everything that sounds negative. We really just want to be bought into Jesus and his heart and his will. So we're going to invite you to pray with us. We're going to, we're going to begin by just kind of declaring who he is, and then we're going to begin to pray for prayer requests and what's on our heart. So join with us tonight. You guys ready? Okay. Jesus, we love you. And we declare that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. That in spite of everything that's going on, you are ruling and reigning. Doesn't mean that you cause bad things to happen, but you're ruling and reigning. God, and I just pray over your church right now that your church would be the church, God, that we would rise in the, from the midst of all the, the ashes, the things that are going on, and we would live with hope and purpose. God, we praise and we thank you that there, even though we can't gather together right now on Sundays, Lord, we, we're able to use the, the internet, we're able to use um, live streaming to reach maybe sometimes more people than we could before. So God, we ask that you would use even tonight, this time of prayer, to touch lives, to encourage. God, we pray that everyone that is watching tonight would begin to feel your presence. Holy Spirit, we invite you to come in our midst. We invite you to come right here. We invite you to come into every home, into every family, to every dorm room, Lord, into to every business, and everywhere that someone's watching. Holy Spirit, we invite you to come. Help us lift up the name of Jesus. We pray for restoration, for healing, for revival, Lord. God, we pray for hope. And God, we pray for the world, but we we want to start, Lord, with our city. God, we thank you for our leaders in this city. And God, we ask that you would give them wisdom. God, we pray over not just our mayor, the city council, but, but the leader of every, of every hospital, of every clinic. God, the pastor of every church. God, we pray for wisdom on how to lead and guide and encourage and, and shepherd your people during this season. And God, we pray for a quick end to this in Jesus name we come before you tonight Jesus just wanting to connect you wanting to hear your heart and wanting to pray your heart we bless you Lord and we love you
God, we declare your perfect love in this situation, and we know that your perfect love casts out all fear. So, God, as we recognize that you love each one of us, that you love every person on this planet, God, I ask that we would be open to moving in your will, open to loving our neighbors well, whatever you are calling us to, that we would be free from fear in every situation yes, as we recognize that you are good, you are trustworthy, yes. your love hasn't failed, and it yes. isn't going to ever. Yes. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you tell us that even though there are tribulations that we'll go through in this life, we are not to fear. We are not to turn our eyes anywhere else but upon you, the Prince of Peace. And to find the comfort and the joy of the blessed Holy Spirit, Father, that he has sent to us to comfort us during times, to show us your way. Father, we confess in so many ways we, we don't know what to do. But Father, our eyes are on you. Our eyes are on your kingdom and upon your nature that does not change. Father, for those that are fearful tonight, who are worried about finances, worried about the health of loved ones, and going through the incredible pain of not being able to be with loved ones who are sick and perhaps even dying. Father, we need the comfort, the supernatural comfort that, that supersedes our, our minds, our emotions. That comfort, Father, that soothes our souls and says, it's okay, I'm still in control. Father, I just left Sonny to you tonight. I pray for the peace that passes all understanding to God in his heart and his mind. I pray for wisdom for him, Father, specifically. That you would lead him and guide him in your ways. Put your thoughts, your desires in his heart and in his mind. And let him hear your voice that says, this is the way. Walk in. Father, for our precious brother that called in with arthritis in his spine, Father, we look to you for healing because you are a healer. Yes. You, you don't just heal, you manifest your nature as healer. And I pray that you manifest the revelation of your healing nature to our brother tonight, Father. And Father, I pray for those that may be traveling who will face the, the testing and the quarantine periods away from family, away from friends, perhaps in strange places. Father, again, I ask for your holy comfort to be very present, very evident. Father, I thank you. I thank you for the time that we have in the midst of what the world calls a crisis. Father, we declare it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to come to know you in a way that perhaps we couldn't know you any other way. It's an opportunity, Father, to reach out to people who are finally saying, I would really like an answer. I'd really like to know if God, there is a God if he is truly in control. Father, I thank you for the opportunities that you bring us every day. Help us to recognize them, Father, to act upon them, and to take the authority and the power of your Holy Spirit and just allow you to work through us, to touch lives for not just now, but for all eternity. So, Father, our eyes are on you. And we trust you to lead us. We trust you to guide us. We trust you to tell us what we need to know, to give us your wisdom. Thank you. Father, we bless you, we praise you, we honor you, we humble our hearts before you, and declare you are God, you are God. As we continue to pray, guys, a few people are saying they're having a hard time hearing us, so if we can do our best so they can hear us, 
speak as loud as we can. out to us uh, with requests, uh, Sarah uh, Gaia and uh, the parents who uh, belong to this church family. Uh, uh, they uh, specifically are anxious about their financial uh, uh, situation as are so many uh, people in our country. Uh, Father, we just uh, uh, have to put our trust in you that uh, that you will provide you are our provider and even though uh, there's lots of people who are worried about not having money to buy food or pay their rent or to be evicted or pay medical bills uh, prescriptions uh, Lord we're just going to trust that there's going to be a way made that no one is uh, going to suffer uh, you know nearly as much as the people who are are suffering from the disease but who nevertheless are uh, facing hardships uh, and making uh, just making ends meet being very very difficult Father you've uh, you've told us uh, uh, time and again in scripture to not be afraid you know when we're faced with situation like this, a, a fearsome uh, situation, uh, you reassure us and say, you know, not to fear and to trust you, uh, that's exactly what uh, uh, I'm asking that you give to uh, uh, Sirudaya and the parents just some uh, peace in their, in their heart, in their souls that taking care of them. Uh, we don't know, you know, how that's going to look, but we just are going to believe that uh, you have this situation uh, under control um, and, and uh, we just believe that you're going to use you know, these hard times uh, to uh, strengthen us, just like gold being refined in the, in the fire or steel uh, being put in the fire, but coming out stronger at the other end. And we're just going to trust you, Lord, that that's uh, what we're going to see in, uh, in our situation now. You know, as Carlos was praying, I just, uh, just felt in, the, in my spirit that just to pray for small business owners. And so if you're listening right now and you're a small business owner, uh, just join us. We just want to pray over you. And just everything Carlos is saying, that you would have faith and hope in Jesus. But I also just want to pray for, for God to move on your behalf and pray for provision. Uh, so Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for just thinking of all the different people I know that you've given them creative ideas to start businesses. Lord, that they have spoken and declared that, that you gave them the idea and they, they're obeying and they're following you. God, and they're, they're giving your glory and they're, they're, they're doing so much of this, God, to sow into your kingdom and to meet people. And God, I just pray your blessing right now over those businesses, Lord, specifically those ones who are small business owners who have given their business to you. God, we pray, I agree with Carlos, God, that you would, um, God, just deposit so much hope 
and faith and excitement and joy inside of them. But God, we also come alongside them and pray for your provision. God, we pray for you to open up the, the storehouses of heaven and pour out, God, just like you gave them creative ideas to start things, God, we just pray for a, a creative miracles when it comes to provision, Lord. God, that we know, Lord, that you're, you're never late. You're always on time. But that waiting for you to be on time is hard. So, God, give them hope. Yeah. Give them patience. Give them peace. But, God, we also ask for your provision. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, I just lift up Julie Reed to you and her family, Father. Um, I ask you for healing in their bodies, Lord, for health and wholeness. And we just plead the blood of Jesus over their whole house, over their whole family. We thank you, Lord, for your protection over them, Lord. We, we thank you for protection over their mind, Lord, over their body. Father, I pray that anything, any health issue that's going on, Lord, that right now you would just come in, Holy Spirit, and you would begin to make new all of those places that any sickness, Lord, has to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we just speak wholeness and health. We speak, Lord, just your presence and the fullness of life, um, Lord, as they're just together and they're in their homes together, Lord, that they would not feel um, that isolation and, and fear and the worry, Lord, but that they would feel you so near, that they would feel your presence, Lord, that they would encounter you, God. And Lord, we just, we lift up our eyes to the hills where our help comes from. Lord, we just, we remind ourselves to realign our vision. Lord, we remind ourselves to get our eyes on the one who is everything, who's conquered everything, who's the beginning and you are the end. And Lord, we just, we refix our mind right now. We tell our soul, we tell our body, we tell our mind to realign under the truth that you are in control and that you are King of kings and Lord of lords, that you are the healer, that you are the protector, that you are the comforter, that our health comes from you. And we lift up our eyes to you tonight, God. And we lift up our eyes to you on behalf of Julie and her family, Lord. And we thank you right now that your word says that if we will lift up our cry to you, that you come to our rescue, God. You are the rescuer. You are the one who leans in to hear the prayers of your people. You are the one that if your ears are open and your eyes are watching, God. I thank you that, that this has gone on for however many days, Lord, but you never grow weary. You never grow faint. And Lord, some of us may be feeling weary and some of us may be feeling faint. And we may be feeling worn out from everything that we've had to walk through because this is a new place that we've never had to go into, Lord, and we're doing new things that we've never had to do. But Lord, you never grow tired and you never grow faint. And it says that, that you are our strength and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So Lord, right now I pray for joy over everybody that's watching and tuning in. That even in the midst of hardship, Lord, even in the midst of, of even as I was coming in tonight, I saw a picture of Paul in, in prison. And Lord, that even Paul in prison could find joy and declare the joy of the Lord as his strength. So Lord, even as we're being isolated in place and things are happening around us, Lord, I pray that we would find a joy in you that is our strength, God. I thank you right now that everything we need is in you and you are not idle and you are not isolated and you are not in one place, Lord, but you are in every house. You are with every family. You are in the midst of every situation, and you are listening, you are hearing, and you are moving, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you are moving on behalf of your people, Lord. We lift up these needs to you, God. We lift up these small businesses to you, Lord, that are dependent on you, Lord, to supply their needs. And I pray, Lord, that they would not turn to fear, that they would not turn to doubt, Lord, but they would stand in faith that you are there to provide everything they need. And we ask you, Lord, that... Lord, we can, we can get so stuck in our routines and do things the way we've always done them. And this is a time for us to get out of those ruts and out of those places and begin to do things we've never done before and do things in a way we've never done it before. I pray for these small businesses, Lord, that you would give them ideas and ways to meet needs and ways to get their product out there that they've never done before. 
Lord, that's going to bring them even more revenue in the future, Lord. That this is not going to be something that hinders them, but this is going to be something that propels them further, Lord. That increases even more um, in their business in the future, Lord. I thank you, God, that our hope is in you. It's not in what we see in the natural, Lord. But you are moving and you are still on the throne, God. So we just speak that hope over every single person tonight, God. That as they're in their homes, that they would not feel hopeless. That they would not feel like um, the world is crashing down around them because you are still on your throne, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you. And we're just reminded more than ever how much we need you. We need your presence. We need your wisdom. Lord, we need you in the midst of every situation, God, and we come to you. We come to you because we know that you are quick to respond to the prayers of your people. And Lord, I just, I pray right now um, for whoever's watching right now that's feeling loneliness and they're feeling all alone right now. And Lord, I ask you that you would break through that loneliness that you would begin to break it off of them and that they would feel you like they've never felt you before, God. That this would be the season that they would begin to know you as friend. That they would know you as their friend, Jesus. That you are the one that is with them and you will never fail them and you will never let them down. That you are the true friend and the constant friend, Lord. I pray right now that they would begin to know you in a new way. Thank you, Lord, that you're breaking off loneliness.
And God, we pray for Linda right now. Lord, just for healing in her left knee. And God, I thank you that she knows you as healer. Lord, that she's turning to you as healer. God, I thank you that you have so many testimonies in her life also, God, of supernatural healing. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, we just pray um, healing over Linda's left knee. God, I thank you that we can say your name. We can we can call you healer and know that you are a healer. Um, God, we pray for those that um, have been affected by this virus, uh, just personally, God, um, that they have um, felt the touch of it. Um, God, those that have lost loved ones during this time, Lord, we just ask, Holy Spirit, that you would come in and comfort. Yes. Lord, that you would just wrap them up in your arms. God, that they would feel your presence, that they would know that you're there, that you haven't, um, God, you haven't forsaken them, you haven't left them. God, that you are there. Yeah. Lord, let us just, uh, like Sharia said also, just fix our gaze on you, fix our eyes on you, God. Yeah. Thank you for this time that we can just sit um, and contemplate and meditate on who you are. Yeah. Lord, that we are being, we have a reset, Lord. Let us reset to let our ways um, be directed towards you, God. Yes. Um, let us uh, just walk towards you. God, I thank you that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And God, I pray that the entire world would see you, God, as the way, the truth, and the life. And Lord, that there would be a, a mass revival yes. that would come towards you, God, that, yes. would, that would begin coming closer and closer to you, God, that there would yes. be a repentance. Lord, that, that just shakes this entire world, God. Um, that we would see our need for a Savior. Yes. And we would run to you, the one and only true God. God, I thank you that we can declare your goodness, yes. even in this, God. And say that what the enemy has meant for evil, God, God. you can turn for good. And so we declare your goodness in all of this, God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up to those that are on the front lines of this, our nurses and, and doctors and, and people that are, are, are facing this every single day, Lord, this disease. And we just pray your protection and your peace over them, Lord. We thank you, um, Lord, that, that they are in the places that they are in, that they're able to be hand, the hands and feet of Jesus to comfort. Lord, I ask that you would just strengthen them, that you would um, continue to encourage them that you would protect them, Father, that they would have everything that they need to be able to take care of any of the patients, Lord, that are that they are taking care of. We thank you, God, for just your covering over them, Lord, um, that there would not be any fear, Father, that there would not be uh, worry, Lord, but that, you, that they would know, Father, that they are covered, um, Lord, and, and that they have everything they need, God. We thank you for just the bravery and just them doing what they are called and asked to do, God. We ask that... Um, that they would have more than enough of everything that we need, Lord. And, and we lift up our leaders to you right now. Yes. Father, the leaders over Waco, the leaders over Texas, and the leaders over this nation, yes. Father. Yes. We lift them up to you right now. We ask that you, Father, would begin to just pour out divine wisdom, Lord. Yes. Yes. Not uh, political wisdom and political agendas, God, but divine wisdom. Yes. Yes. Lord, your plan and your purpose that you would begin to align things, Father. You see the things that we can't see, and you know the things that we don't know, and you know what's coming up, Lord. You know the things that are yet to happen, Father. So we pray, Lord, for wisdom to be able to get through this as quickly as possible, Lord. You know exactly what needs to be done. I pray that our leaders would not be motivated by self-gain, that they would not be motivated by fear, Father, but they would have perfect wisdom divine wisdom from heaven god we thank you lord that you are i ask you lord for dreams and visions that you would begin to break through that the word of the lord would begin to break through god and that through this even our leaders would begin to call on the name of jesus they would call on the name of jesus for resources and wisdom god that they would reach out to you jesus we thank you for revival lord over this city and over the nations because of this god we ask you, Lord, that you would not let us remain the same, but this would propel us into new things that yeah. you're doing, God. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for our leaders, God. We ask you, Father, that you would continue to pour out your spirit over this city yes. and over this nation, yes. Lord. 
And even now, just as, as leaders in this body, Lord, we humble ourselves before you, God. And we repent for any way that we tried to do it for selfish gain. Lord, we repent for any way that we tried to do it in our own strength. And we recognize that we need you, Jesus. And we need your presence, Lord, that it's nothing without you. That, Lord, we need you in this city, in this house, and in this nation, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you do take even what the enemy wanted to use for evil. And you use it for your glory, God. We ask you that the mighty name of Jesus would be made known yes. and proclaimed. Yes. That every single tongue would confess yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we speak your name, Jesus. We speak the name of Jesus over every person watching tonight. We speak the name of Jesus yes. over this city and over our yes. nation. We lift up the name of Jesus above COVID-19. Yes. We lift yes. up the name of Jesus above fear. We lift up the name of Jesus above depression. We yes. lift up the name yes. of Jesus above discouragement and yes. worry. Lord, we lift up the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, the name that is higher than anything we'll ever face. We thank you, Jesus, for your name. We honor you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. thank you for the, the vision that you're giving us for the greater and sharper perspective as you're working into our hearts and to our spirits but Father I also know there's more there's more so Father I, I pray that as we continue to seek you and cry out to you that you would enlarge the vision that you want us to have not just in this situation, but through this situation. The Father, that we'd be able to lay new foundation stones in your kingdom. That we'd be able to build upon a newness that you would bring. And Father, I just agree with the prayers for revival, for repentance. Father, those that may be cold towards you, that they would not be cold towards Father, that there would, there would come a fire of your Holy Spirit that would begin to ignite a fire in the earth that's greater than any fire that has yes. ever been ignited. Yes. Not just in this church, not just in this city, but certainly here, but that, Father, around the world, yeah. as our brothers and sisters today and tonight are crying out to you, we, we join our voices with them and say, yes, Father, yeah. show us Show us, Father, what you are doing, and by your grace and by your wisdom, allow us to walk it. 
through the gates that you have for us and into that new place. Father, I know we're in the last days, and I know that the harvest is plentiful. It's never been more plentiful. So, Father, raise up those that would go into the harvest fields. Father, bring glory to your name, and let there come a great harvest of souls into your kingdom through this. And, Father, let those that are cold become hot. Father, let the, let the, the burning embers, would you just blow upon them and flame them back into a fire. Father, thank you for what you're doing. Give us greater vision we can walk with you in a greater way and speak a greater light to those around us. Increase our vision and increase our faith, Father. I ask you for this in Jesus' name, for the sake of the kingdom. You know, Kim touched on this when she was praying a while ago. You know, we just can't even imagine what it would be like to to lose someone, lose a family member, not, not just to, to COVID-19, but maybe just from some other kind of reason or cause during this time, and not being able to, to maybe grieve the way you would like to, because you can't come together as a family and you're, you're restricted. So God, right now, for everyone that's that's listening and maybe has gone through some of this, Lord, I pray, pray specifically over uh, Ricky and Jennifer Toll. Yeah. God, I pray over our, our, our friend Delani her family in the UK. God, and even though in our human minds we, we are like, we don't understand, this is very hard, how do we deal with this? You are the great comforter. So even in the midst of this, just really this goes along with everything we're praying tonight, even in the midst of this, you can bring such a peace. You can bring such a comfort. You can bring hope. So God, we pray over everyone that's listening that maybe is going through something like this, and specifically the Tolls and, and the Lonnie and her family, Lord, we pray for the peace of God to fill them right now in Jesus' name. Fill them up with your peace, Lord. We thank you, God, that you do it. Yes. Yes. Uh, we've been praying for um, the people who are sick, who need healing. Uh, there's uh, some people in uh, during this time that are uh, continuing to work and uh, we're grateful to them uh, the people that work at the grocery stores and and uh, even though we may complain that there's not toilet paper or something uh, you know so insignificant is that uh, we're grateful that uh, these people are, are brave yes. enough to uh, to go to work and provide us with uh, food and uh, uh, just basic necessities. We're grateful to you know the, the policemen and firemen who uh, yes. are willing to put their uh, lives on the line for us, uh, not just now but uh, always. And Father, I just uh, ask for uh, help, just a, a protection, a yes. hedge of protection over yes. their health. Uh, as they're trying to do their part to make life as uh, as good as it can be for uh, the rest of us who uh, you know we could say are, are suffering uh, they're they're doing their their part uh, bravely and with courage and uh, father I just pray that you give them supernatural strength and uh, continue to uh, keep them healthy Lord, I ask you for Julia Estrada in her workplace as they wait to hear if one of her coworkers does have this virus. God, I pray your healing over that coworker yes. that you would absolutely and completely drive out any sickness from their body. Yes. God, I ask that you would flood this whole situation with your peace for that coworker, for Julie, for all of their other coworkers, that this would be a situation where your supernatural peace comes in and that this would be an opportunity for your followers in that place to witness to you, to witness to your goodness, to witness to the peace and the freedom from fear that you offer. And God, I ask you for, for supervisors and those in charge 
that you would give them your discernment and your wisdom, that they would be led by those things rather than led by love of money. God, I ask that that idol of money would just fall in our society, in our own lives, that that idol of mammon would just topple. Let this be an opportunity for us to look inside of our own hearts and see the ways that money has taken control of us and root that out, God. Root out every shred of confidence that we have put in a thing that is not you and teach us to trust you to provide for everything that we need because, God, we know that you will do it. We know that you will provide for our needs. And we can't trust money or our financial system or anything that we thought we could right now. God, turn our eyes to you, turn our hearts to you, let our trust be only in you. Responsibility of, of uh, trying to do a school online and yes. run a household. And uh, God, I just pray. Uh, I pray for you, you to be the, the helper uh, yes. in that situation. Uh, I thank you that it's spring and the weather's beautiful and people can be outside and play. And uh, I just pray that this be a this be a time for families who have maybe gotten a little uh, apart. Or having to get our internet and uh, social media and all that, that it's, that it's an opportunity yeah. to come back together. But at the same time, Lord, that it's, it's hard. And so uh, I just pray help over, uh, yeah. over households, especially those with young yeah. children, yes. maybe those with older children too, Lord <laughs> Jesus. I just uh, I pray that we know the family, that you, you, you established it. That's the model for uh, building society. God, I just pray over families. Uh, and I thank you that this could be a great opportunity. Yes. Yeah, we ask you for Jet and her family specifically, that you would drive out any anxiety surrounding homeschooling, that you would drive out any sense of chaos or any sense of pressure, because you, God, are not a God of chaos, but a God of order. So we ask that you would bring your order into people's new routines, that you would show them how to live their lives and structure their hours well. Yes. And God, I ask that this would be an opportunity for restoration of relationships, that while this could be a time when people could be butting heads even more and any kind of disunity festering, this is also a prime opportunity for forgiveness. This is a prime opportunity for learning to love one another well, past differences and past struggles. So God, I ask that we, your people, would be representatives of your love, of your forgiveness, of your character in our households, in our relationships. And I ask that that would be a witness to everyone that there is restoration, there is healing, there is forgiveness in you. through 
those things, and I just ask, God, that you would um, let them uh, feel just your love in this situation, God, and your, your uh, surrounding them in this situation, God. Let them know that you see them and they are not forgotten, um, Lord, that um, you care, um, that you're not cruel, uh, but, God, you're good. And let them know that they're seen by you. Um, and, Lord, just those places that, that seem uh, to feel disappointed and, and discouraged in those areas, God, I pray that you would lift them up, Lord, and that you would speak directly to them and, and just give them uh, just joy um, in this time of, of solitude, God, in this time of quietness. God, I thank you uh, that you are a God who loves a party. And so, Lord, let them know that you love a party, and um, that you are um, proud of them, that you're rejoicing with them, Lord, um, and you're, uh, yeah, you're proud of their accomplishments, God. Let them know that. lift up uh, Jean Boucher is asking that we would pray for the staff of the Waco Center for Youth and just for the young people there that they would encounter the presence of God. So Lord, we ask that, that, that you would just surround um, all of the workers there, Lord, and all of the children there, Father. We thank you for your presence in that place, Lord, um, that this would just be a time of awakening and a time of um, pressing into you, Lord, even greater measure of your presence. Father, thank you so much. Lord, just um, we ask that you would strengthen each person that works there, Lord. Strengthen them in spirit, Father. And I thank you, Lord, just for your presence that, that will just saturate that place, Lord. And we lift up Jean Bechet to you, God. Lord, thank you. Father, for what he carries and the way he serves um, so well, Lord, we just pray right now that he would encounter your presence, Lord, that he would be strengthened, Father, that he would know and recognize what a light he is and what he carries, Lord, that, um, that everywhere he walks, you are with him, Lord. I ask that you would begin to give him words to speak, Lord, that you would begin to um, lead him in ways that he can reach out and be your hands and feet like never before Jesus. And we just thank you for Jean. Lord Jesus, I just want to lift up your church uh, around the nation, you know, and in the world. Uh, just these are uh, times where, you know, people aren't coming to church um, uh, and and we can tell, we can feel it. We can feel the, you know, the loss of uh, intimacy between uh, fellow believers. I just pray that the, you know, the churches of the nation will, you know, come up with some innovative ways to keep the bonds uh, strong, uh, not just, uh, uh, you know, with each other, but uh, with you, Father. I just pray that, uh, you know, uh, that everybody have a, a quiet time to spend time with you each and every day and uh, not for 
forget that uh, you are the Father, that you are in control, and that uh, uh, we need you. But we need each other as well. We need uh, uh, the body to be healthy as well. And uh, we're just uh, thinking of how sweet it will be when uh, when we can meet uh, every Sunday or you know, whatever day of worship. Uh, we just uh, look forward to that time and, and pray, Lord, that you will bring it about uh, soon for the sake of you know, of, of the saints, uh, for the sake of uh, the people who love you and the people that, you know, who, who love each other in, you know, in your body. And uh, we just uh, look forward to that day and we'll give you all the glory. And we just uh, pray this in your name, Jesus. Uh, Jessica Perrin has messaged me facing something this big like this pandemic is and feels you know it's easy to forget that God loves to hear his people pray and then we can actually pray into this and we can pray to the ending of this we can, God wants to move and he wants to move on behalf of his church and his church crying out to him and so you know again when, it, when something's this big it feels like oh my prayers don't make a difference and that's such a lie from the enemy like our prayers make a difference we can as the church Pray into this and, and cause this thing to end and uh, cause the glory of God to, to shine and revival to happen. We can pray those things. And so before we end in a few minutes, I'm going to ask that wherever you're at, that you would join us, that we just, we begin to pray that, man, tonight, today, we would see a turning point. 
not just a leveling off, but we would see a drastic difference. And that we would pray into, in a sense, deliverance from this over our nation, over the world. So why don't you join us as we pray into that? Jesus, we, we've said it all along tonight, but you are God, you hold everything in your hands. Jesus, you are powerful. You have all power and authority. And right now, we come humbly before you, and we ask for an end yes. to this virus. Yes. God, we ask for an end. I know that, that leaders are worried that if they ease restrictions, maybe it'll escalate. God, we say no, or we want an end to it. Yeah. God, we ask for an end yes. to it. We ask for it to be such a dramatic end that people will be saying that it was impossible. Yeah. That, it, that it wasn't restrictions. It wasn't what, what humans thought of. But God, it was you moving. Yeah. Yeah. God, the Israelites were fleeing Egypt and they, they, they got to the, to the Red Sea. And it looked like it was impossible. What could, what could possibly make it? There's no options. But you had an option in mind. You parted the sea. Yeah. So God, when we look when we look at life, when we look at things we're facing. <coughs> God, we uh, we think that there are no options many times, but God, you see yes. things we don't see. Yeah. And God, we pray for deliverance over our city, yes. over our nation, yes. and Lord, over the world. And God, I feel like right now, Lord, you know the the world is is pitting itself against each other in different places, Lord. God, we just we declare your love and deliverance over every nation. Yeah, yes, God. Over every people. Yes, God. God, we as the church, we don't have enemies in the world. We just have people we're called to love. Yeah. So God, we pray your deliverance and your peace over every tribe. God, over every church in the world, Lord, over every synagogue, Lord, over every mosque, God, we pray yes. your deliverance and your freedom yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, that you would move and that you would heal people of all walks, of all yes. faiths, of all backgrounds. Yes. And it would be known that you did it, Jesus. Yes. Yes. It's in your name we pray. I want to thank you guys again for joining us. And this was said tonight, too. You know, I, I, I don't want this to come across as any more than, than an encouragement. You know, if you have more time on your hands right now and you may be looking at it as kind of a curse, like you don't know what to do, man, receive it as a gift. Receive more time on your hands as a gift from God to spend time with Him. You may have more time on your hands right now than you've ever had. And so receive it as a gift from God spend time with him, spend time in his word, spend time in prayer. And uh, you, if you do it, it won't feel like a chore. It won't feel like work. It will feel like a gift. And you'll be able to look back on this season as not, and not maybe tell it the way someone else would, not as, man, that was a hard, really hard, horrible season. But man, during that season, even though the world was in chaos, God gave me a great gift of spending time with him. So we bless you guys. Press into him. He loves you. He's for you. And guys, we're, we're not just you know praying for an hour tonight. That's it. If you have prayer requests, if something's going on, we, we really get so much joy uh, by praying for you. So send that in to us and uh, give us the blessing and to pray with you. Bless you guys. We love you.